If Catalonia does one day get its own air force, it'll probably be able to afford something better than these. On the beach in Barcelona, the air show is a welcome distraction from the crisis. But this, Spain's richest region, is now at the centre of the crisis, with Madrid committed to austerity. There is now a rising demand in Catalonia for independence. My feeling is that the Spanish government has totally rejected what's happening here. They've spread rejection and hate with comments calling us the damn Catalan that doesn't want to collaborate. Now, a lot of people are not only feeling this in their heart but in their pockets too. And the feeling is that they would be a lot better off if they were not a part of Spain. If we put those two feelings together, I think we are relatively close to reaching our goal. I think we are on the right path. For Catalonia, it's a path often dreamed of but never taken. The regional government here wants at the very least fiscal autonomy. They've called a snap election and threatened to hold a referendum on independence. But could this iconic Spanish city ever leave Spain? At the HQ of the ruling party, I've come to meet one of the men who'll decide that. In terms of industrial, also tourism, also... Uriol Pujol is one of the leaders of the Convergence and Union Party that runs the region. It's true that the crisis and this uh, difficult moment in a, in a rich uh, land and nation like Catalonia that are uh, apporting between the 8 and 9 percent of our GDP every year to Spain, uh, the result is, 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 is not happy at all because there are double of cuts in terms of social services, educational services, health services, double cuts of the rest of Spain, and double taxes. So and that is, it's really disbalanced. So we must solve that. If I don't solve that, some, uh, 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 someone gonna solve that. More radical parties. Probably. Catalonia has a powerful hand to play. It's the industrial powerhouse, rich, a kind of Spanish Germany. Until now, nationalist politicians here have played that hand to get concessions from Madrid. But Madrid now can only offer austerity and has repeatedly denied the region's attempts to gain more autonomy. During the last 10 years, a lot of decisions have been made in order to keep a historical separation between powers. In Madrid, we had the political powers, but in Barcelona, we had the economic powers. What now they are trying, uh, in a very clear way, is to concentrate economic and political power in Madrid. And this is what made Catalan politicians decide to act. The Catalan government now wants an independence referendum, legal or otherwise. If the legal process doesn't run good enough, uh, we won't stop. You will have a referendum? It, it could be impossible to avoid it. If they ever do become a country, they will, of course, have no trouble forming a football team. At this soccer bar on Tuesday night, as their team trounced Benfica, the Barca fans were in no doubt about what's changing. I feel absolutely Catalan. I feel absolutely Catalan. Um, well, I mean, in my passport, in my IT, it says that I'm Spanish, but I'm not. Two or three years ago, people would tell you, hey, that independence thing will never happen. Don't be too excited about it. Don't expect too much. And now, after what has happened in the last month or month and a half, it is amazing. In the rest of Spain, reactions to a Catalan independence referendum have been less joyous. In a press interview, Colonel Francisco Alaman, a serving officer in the army, made this statement. Catalan independence over my dead body and that of many other soldiers. Today, it's like 1936, only without the blood. Unfortunately, the data tells us the economy is going to get even worse. In Barcelona, they're trying to take attitudes like that in their stride. Politics of fear, not only the sentence of this uh, person of the army, uh, will appear. We know that. But the process is so enthusiastic that any kind of fear uh, probably shows how weak is Spain and the Spanish uh, politics uh, defending uh, or trying to avoid the process in Catalonia. The economic impact of Catalan independence is disputed, but at least it can be measured in facts and figures. 
What cannot be measured is feeling, and there is a huge wave of nationalist sentiment here. That's put formal support for independence up around 52%. But what nobody can know is the point at which the wave becomes unstoppable. It's just a folk dance, but to Catalans, the Sardana, performed outside the cathedral every Sunday, has massive significance. Under Franco, people died for the right to speak their own language, sing their own folk songs. There are layers of history at stake here. Madrid is doing what they always did, criticize us. And that is why we're saying enough. We don't want their help because we don't get any real help from them. Therefore, I believe we're better off on our own. Up to now, the cultural freedom symbolized here has been enough to contain demands for independence. But the crisis changes everything, and we still don't know where the crisis ends.